Hello everyone, Trackmaster Tad should be here. Unfortunately, I didn't have a video prepared this week ahead of time, so I'm gonna have to improvise one real quick. So this is everything I'm planning to do with my layout in the future. So without further ado, let's get into it. Recently, I visited a model train store called the Train Shack in Burbank, California, where I picked up more hobby tack. That means despite the limited amount of hobby tack and foliage that comes with the tree packs, I'll be able to make any more trees in the future if needed. While in Burbank, I also swung by Ikea and picked up these strip lights. They're about a meter or two in length, and they're meant to replace the strip lights I already have on the layout right now. As you can see, these were just quickly bought up from Walmart and are not meant to be permanent based on their unrealistic lighting. So I bought these IKEA lights as a better alternative to get more natural lighting. As you can see in comparison, the old lights look more toy-like and more displayish than the natural lighting the IKEA lights give. And even side by side, the contrast is stacked. Here's a couple photos I took under these strip lights that I shoddily taped under the shelf just to show how good the photos look. I also, for some reason, bought this HO scale USPS truck and this steaming Brio from Burbank. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with the Brio locomotive, but I'm sure I can scrap it for pipes. On the rolling stock side, all rolling stocks are planned to get reporting mics. This will allow for more realistic operations and generally more fun when switching and running the layout. Another thing I've been meaning to do is make individual engine wraps for all my shelves. I store all of the shells I don't use on this shelf system, and I cannot tell you how many times I've broken handrails or details off because I poorly handled them. On another note, another thing I'm working on is to make some kind of shoddy operator's desk out of my current work desk. I'm planning on making some rough form of operations for Trackmaster. Even though that's somewhat impossible to most, I'm finding a way. Another thing I'd like to do in the future is replace all of these location signs with more prototypical ones. These ones look pretty toyish in comparison and don't look realistic. Here's a picture of this original sign at the Tehachapi Depot that's still on display. The bridge at Woodford is planned to get a lighter shade of grey to make it look more concrete -y, and the collapsed keen mine in the background is gonna get foliage, rocks, and water when time comes for that. Eventually, more signals will be added on the layout, including the ones at the Signal Bridge, Weilong, and the Mojave section. I've also finally decided what I want to do with this area. I'm going to make part of it Marcel and part Cable. The Marcel section is going to extend from Burton's Curve in the back, and soon the hilly areas are going to transition into the creek that Cable runs alongside, with trees running alongside the track until the train passes under the Tucker Bridge overpass where it enters the town of Tehachapi. As for the town itself, I'm currently working on the Conan's Country Bakery, aka the Apple Packing Shed, that will be released alongside the other buildings. I'm still debating if I want to remove Eric and replace that with the monolith cement plant for more industry switching on the layout. Even though there's not really a point to doing it, it seems fun. As for the Helix, there is no plans on working on it further at the moment, as it's not a high priority thing. At least not compared to layout scenery, which I'm still planning on. Also, recently I've been busy working on a fleet of HO scale stuff, all of which I will cover in the next video. So stay tuned if you're interested in seeing my HO scale projects. But anyways, that's all for me for now. And until next time, I'm Trackmaster Tehachapi. See you later.